In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the step-by-step -step process and how to set up your display campaigns. And this is part of my Get Google Ready series for 2025, where I take you through not only how to correctly set up, but also how to optimize all of your Google Ads campaigns in 2025. Now, your display campaigns are your image-based campaigns. And if you've ever been on a website and then you go around and you check the sports news, check the weather, check some different things on the internet and you see that company's ads follow you around, that is a display campaign. In most cases, it will be used as a remarketing campaign. So what you would generally do is that you would start a display campaign after you've been running some search or shopping campaigns and you've got audiences of over a thousand and then you use a display campaign to remarket those audiences. But a display campaign can also be a really good outreach or top of the funnel campaign where you're targeting people by their audiences or demographics or specific websites and you're wanting to introduce people to your product or brand. The great thing with display campaigns that people often forget about is that with a display ad, you can set your display campaigns to be maximize conversions or maximize clicks. So you're only paying when someone clicks on your ad, but they may see that ad three or four times before they get that click. So you can also get some really good brand recognition. And so that's the one thing I just want you to remember with your display campaigns is that sometimes the reporting in the display campaign, we want it to be profitable, but it may be one of those campaigns which contributes to the overall health of your Google Ads account performance. So with all that said, let's jump into the step-by-step -step process of setting up your display campaigns the right way. And just in case you miss any of these steps, I don't want you to worry because you follow the link in the description below, you can get access to my display campaign setup guide. And this has screen shares and it takes you through the step-by-step -step process. So right now, let's jump into that screen share. Now, before you can start setting up a display campaigns, I would recommend that you have active audiences of at least a thousand users. And this is so you can start to select some different audiences that you want to target. The way that you check that in your Google Ads account, go to tools and then audience manager, and you should be able to start to see your audiences in there. If you're not at that level yet, I would just wait until you've built up those audiences. The other thing that you need is you need different assets. So different image assets. And we've got here the asset specs that you have. And then from there, you need to go into Google Ads. So let's start with that process. So go into select a new campaign. And then you can either decide whether it's sales or leads. Obviously, if it's sales, you need to make sure you've got some conversion values in there. And so whether it's an e-commerce brand or if you're lead gen, but you're inputting your data back in there. Don't forget for display campaigns as well, you could use this as a top of the funnel type of promotion where you are really looking at just generating some more brand awareness. But for us, we're going to be following up on some leads. So we're going to select leads. Now, there are some things that I'm going to be removing through there, which is our phone calls and our YouTube subscriptions. And we just want to focus on purchases and converted leads. There are some data that we're feeding back into Google. Go through and click continue. We want to select display and then you need to put in your website. Go through and click continue. Once again, when it comes to your campaign name, this is something that only you're going to see. What I like to do is I like to use a campaign name that makes sense so I know what we're talking about when we go through and do our reviews. Now, we're going to be setting this up as a remarketing campaign. That's what I've put R in there. Go through and click continue. Now, it comes back to some of your location and your language is targeting. Now, because we are using this as a remarketing campaign, I'm not going to limit this. But if you want to limit it around different countries or different locations, you can definitely do that. If you are doing specific countries, I would also recommend that you select the presence, not the presence and interest option. And then from there, you can go through and click next. And this is where you start your budget. We're going to enter in our budget. Now, Google will sometimes give a recommendation. Generally with the display campaign, especially if it's a remarketing campaign, I generally look at spend around about five to 10% of my total account spend and we're going to select this for conversions i wouldn't start with a target cost per action if you're looking at generating some more just general branding or just awareness you could use viewable impressions but as i said for us we're looking at generating some extra conversions then you go through and click next now this is where you add in the targeting it's different areas for your targeting your audience segments demographics keywords topics and placements so because this is a remarketing we're going to be adding in our audience segments and we are going to be choosing the ones which have actually visited our website so what we're looking for we don't want converters we want people who have visited our website we've got some different customer lists in there i am going to actually turn off optimized targeting what optimized targeting is is it goes beyond our selections but remember 
because we are doing remarketing. So for optimized targeting, I would use it if it's a display campaign that we're looking to drive some more awareness or sort of more of a top of the funnel strategy because well, this one is for remarketing. We don't want that targeted. So that's why we've turned that off. Go through and click next. The other thing that you can do as well is if you've got some real clear data on the best content placement, so you can go through into here at targeting and select content. And if there are some specific YouTube channels, some different websites or different areas that you want to specifically target, you can enter them in here. The only thing I would say is that as soon as you start to add in some specific bidding, it will increase your CPC. So that's just something to keep in mind, but it might also increase your conversions. I'm not going to add that in, but that's how you would do that. And then it's just a matter of coming through and creating your ads. Now, what will automatically feed in is the URL that we had at the start, but we can update there if we need to. Then you need to go through and create some images. If you don't have any images in your account, you can go through and upload them. But as you can see, we've already got a lot of different images in here. If you ever need to change any of these, so if you want to change the crop on these, you just click the edit button and you can go through and start changing the different areas of the image but we're happy with all of that and we've got some images selected we've already uploaded our logo you need to make sure that you've got at least one a logo once again you can use that upload function to do that we're not going to add videos but you can also add videos and then you just need to come through and start creating your headlines and your long headlines once again i've just showed in some just examples to show you how this is done but generally once again we'll be using the headlines that are converting well on our other campaigns once you're happy with that you just then go through and go to next and then it's just a matter of going through and selecting to publish your campaign. Congratulations on setting up your display campaign and I hope that's going to be a great way that you can increase the performance of your Google Ads account. Remember, as I said, if you missed any of those steps, just follow that link in the description below and you can get access to my Google Ads display setup guide. And remember that this video is part of my full playlist, Get Google Ready for 2025. And if you want to watch all of the videos in that playlist, go through and watch this playlist right here. See you next time.